Hi, this is Fern for GboxCanada.com and today we are going to show you how to reflash the Starstream Technologies X4. For this you will need a computer, an SD card and a small tool to press inside the box. This will come later on but I recommend either getting a toothpick, a small screwdriver for glasses like this which is what I'm going to be using or the inside of a pen also works pretty good. Okay, so first off what you want to do is you want to go to our website which is gboxcanada.com. Once you've reached the website, you want to go to the troubleshooting section. Along with many helpful tips here, you want to keep scrolling down to eventually find our files which are the red links here. And you want to download the file for your box. In this case it would be the Starstream X4 M8N firmware and all you need to do is click the link save it to your computer and of course uh, I'm using Firefox here so in in uh, this case there is a uh, it would it will show me where the file is downloaded to but just to get things moving along here we we've already downloaded the file down to our desktop here so uh, in this case you want to right click the file and you have the extract all option. If the extract all option is not there, you can download programs such as WinZip or WinRare and that should help you ex uh, extract the file. So we're going to extract the file right here to our desktop. Okay, so once the files are extracted, you should get uh, three files the factory update param, the recovery, and the Starstream Cody 14.2 underscore 2015 S. And these files will change depending on the box and also the version of the firmware available on our website. So here we're going to insert the SD card. And you need at least two gigabytes of memory on the SD card uh, because these are somewhat big files. So once the SD card is inserted, there we go, it, uh, on this computer it opens up automatically. So what you want to do is you just want to copy over these three files and uh, just a side note here that one of the files, the Starstream Cody file, is a zip file, a compressed file, and it does need to stay as a zip file. So select the three files and just copy them over to the SD card. And of course, depending on your computer, uh, all of these procedures can take different amount of times. Okay, so the files here are almost done transferring over from the computer to the SD card. And it's at this point that uh, grabbing your little tool and getting ready for the box. Okay, so we have the tree files transferred over to the SD card. We're going to eject the SD card properly from the computer. So after you've removed the SD card from your computer, with the power unplugged from the box, you want to insert the SD card into the box properly. And in the back of the box here, there is the small AV port. You want to use your tool and press right into the bottom of it. And you'll feel a small click. And once you feel that click, you want to keep a pressure on it while you plug the power back in and keep the pressure on it until you see the proper little Android character show up on the screen. This will take normally between 30 to 40 seconds. And there we go. That's the little character. At this point, you can let go of the button. Now you just wait for the uh, for the progress bar to finish and uh, this will take you to the start menu where you'll be able to select your uh, the language of the box, uh, set up your internet and uh, right after that you'll see the Android screen that you first saw when you turned on the box. So this is for NergyBoxCanada.com and that is how we reflash a box.